Good morning, everyone. Today is another magical, spectacular day on the Holland America Euro Holland America Eurodam. We are starting today off with a special breakfast in the dining room, which I'm a big fan of. Casino over there, and uh, then we're making our way to Victoria, British Columbia, which will be my first time in Canada. I'm looking forward to that. As we're making our way to breakfast now, you can see some of the really cool artwork. There's an apple with a uh, knife in it, which is pretty cool, and then there's a theater here with just the chef sitting right there. Oh, that was pretty. Pretty impressive. Just very unique artwork all around and lots of quiet areas. Sit back, relax. Here's this lobby again, a beautiful one around Holland America. Very small, which I'm learning to really love. Really, really am. Starting off today with the Pan-Asian breakfast. It's gonna have miso soup and salmon for breakfast. Sounds really good. I've had a Pan-Asian breakfast style before other restaurants, but never uh, aboard ship, so it's gonna be great. Thank Here's you. our locks. We're starting it off with this one again. You remember we had this one the other day. It was really good. We're gonna try it again and let you know what I think. There's our Pan-Asian breakfast right there. And I heard the herring is delicious, so that's great. But uh, salmon and rice, tamayaki, it all looks really good. We got miso soup coming as well. We're gonna dig in. Let you know. Got to tell you, all the food here with Pan Asian uh, breakfast is really good. Salmon's delicious. The uh, tamayaki, I believe it's called, is uh, sweeter and really good. The um, vegetables are uh, pickled, so a little bit intense, but good. Rice is okay. Miso soup's only okay. The salmon and the uh, tamayaki, that's the ones that you really want to go out of your way for. Back at the room now, and you can see they've made up the room and they've actually replaced these uh, luggage things here so we can put our luggage back because they realize that now's the time to start packing up. I don't want to, but we gotta do it. No. All right, so we are now mostly packed up. I'd say about 85% packed up, and now we're gonna head to the pool and enjoy some time there. We'll talk to you after. After a fantastic pool time, we have shower change. I love how they provide these uh, included Holland America bathrobes that you can use during your cruise, but not take with you. Um, and now we're gonna go and get some lunch and then probably more game time at the Crow's Nest. Big fan of that. Uh, and then we will be at uh, Victoria, British Columbia a bit early today, so that'll be great. We've already packed a bunch, but obviously more needs to be packed, and uh, then we'll be on our way. I know it's last day, last full day is never fun, but uh, we're making we're making the most of it for sure. Here we are, that delicious salad that you know I'm a big fan of. Got a lot of meat in there, and uh, croutons, romaine, olives, tomato, onion, all looks good. I think we're all in agreement here. The fish and chips, one of the best items for lunch available on board. Holland America Eurodam, really delicious. For a dessert, we've got the uh, cookies and cream, ice cream, and a cone. It's really good, I highly recommend it, love it. Right outside we saw some orca. There's a couple of them right over there. It's still raining just a bit here, but I'm trying to get out there and take a better look at the orca. I have the lens, the short lens on, so don't think you'll be able to see it too well, but I'm gonna try and spot it myself. When we were out there, our naturalist Ross told us it was one of the bigger ones out there, a large male, very cool to see. He says it's not very common to see orcas, more common to see whales. We're happy either way. I think we've seen a lot of different animals this cruise, so that's awesome. Headed out now to guest services, um, just confirm a few things on the statement, and then probably back to Crow's Nest for some games and uh, chill out. Last minute shopping here in the shops. Alaska end of season sale. We've gotten quite a few items purchased here from Holland America, and I gotta tell you, I've been loving all of them. So, I think we've uh, finalized everything we can get, probably because we've packed too much. We've got too much uh, full space and luggage, but still, a lot of great items here. It's interesting, some of the Alaskan items are 50, 75% off. Others like these, which I think are awesome, including this frame, which I would totally want, is uh, is full price. So it should be noted that some are going on sale, some are not. We're at the Crow's Nest again. I love this place so much. Another family game. We're gonna play and some more coffee. There it is, our caramel cream ice. It's our drink of the day here, and it looks really, really good. I had the hot coffee the other day. We're trying the cold coffee today. I'll let you know what I think. Playing Skippo for the first time. Uh, we played it once now, and it was a lot of fun. Now we're gonna play another round. Really did enjoy it. We keep uh, playing, loving every minute. And here we are. I'm really looking forward to this dinner. It is the this is the chicken parmesan. There's some mashed potatoes and gravy. There's uh, some uh, chicken right there, and then you've got the brisket. We also have the um, the mushroom. I forgot what you called it already. It's not a casserole. It's something with the filo dough on top. A little bit spicy, apparently. I'm gonna try all of this and let you know. Really excited. Bon appetit. As we're turning into British Columbia right now, parmesan chicken, delicious. Actually, one of the best food items that I've tried thus far. Delicious. Love that one. Brisket, no flavor at all, don't recommend it. It is nice and tender, but do not recommend it because it's just, it's like you're biting nothing. The mushroom lasagna thing, really did not care for that. That was actually one of the worst I've had. So, the best with the worst, so there you go. Uh, mashed potatoes with gravy, just as you'd expect, so nothing outstanding there. 
Overall, not a bad dinner, but not uh, one of the best. If I've noticed anything, I feel like the food's kind of gone downhill as we've gone through this adventure, but still not bad. Now moving on to the dessert section, chocolate uh, tart there, not great. We've noticed a significant decline in some of their food items. I'm not sure if it's our perceptions that have changed or if the actual food itself is just kind of not as good as what we had in the beginning. I do remember the beginning food was just like really, really good all the time. So I think it's just, you know, kind of going down a little bit as the cruise is progressing. Um, maybe there was a change in the back, who knows. But overall, the food's okay now. now things, things are starting to get difficult to reach yeah. the great level, right? Things are like, yeah, okay, something like that. So you say, Michelle says, meh. So it, um, it really depends as things go by. But I definitely want to try some of the more um, the, the specialty dining locations at some point in the future. When I go to a new cruise line, I like to try the standard dining first, like for a lot of it. Um, but then as I go on more repeats, I'd love to try more of the specialty dining, which we'll get to at some point in the future. And here we are visiting our neighbors to the north, Canada. Welcome to Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. Really nice day we have today. Not raining, not too cold. I'm actually in a short sleeve shirt standing out here. And you can see the city right up ahead over there. We don't have too, too long in uh, British Columbia, but we're going to get out, take a little look around, see what there is to see, and then uh, prepare because it is indeed our last night at sea. And here we are, welcome to Canada. There's a helicopter landing right over there and we can see the Royal Princess who we started this journey with right next door to us, right here. We will have to go through customs, so no filming over there. But uh, yeah, we are pulling up right now. Hopefully we'll be one of the first off the ship because we are making it a bit earlier than expected. 6.45 now, which is awesome. So it's kind of an area over there we're probably gonna be able to walk to, but not too, too much here because we don't have much time and we want to enjoy that last night on board. And we have made it to Canada. We're going to start walking right now to Fisherman's Wharf, which is in this direction. It's our first time here, so it'll be fun to explore. Here we are at Fisherman's Wharf here at uh, Victoria, British Columbia. Beautiful uh, wharf here. We've walked all the way from the ship. Apparently it's about three tenths of a mile to get here from the ship and a little further to get to the city. It's uh, kind of cool. These are full houses right here on the water. We're here at night in British Columbia. Check out Fisherman's Wharf here in uh, British Columbia. Really, really nice. We're really getting immersed here, learning more about this area, walking around. There's lots of great smells here. We're not super hungry, but we are looking around. Great. Look at these fish and chips. Oh, I'm tempted, but we had some great ones on board. Just walking around and exploring now, having a great time. Again, just on the wharf, just walking from the ship. Really cool looking. Uh, experience people can uh buy i guess very cool here we are in uh, downtown hotel grand pacific here as we're walking around british columbia at night not as many excursions today just because we're not here for very long but great to see it great to walk towards the downtown area here i know it's kind of dark but great to see it and here we are on the waterfront here you can actually see canada all lit up right over there the little sign like that and there's this bridge i really like this bridge over here like a blue almost like a in like open tunnel it's kind of cool very cool waterway it is currently 8 15 uh british columbia time so uh yeah we're just walking around it's uh it's a great night for it check out this building here we're gonna walk a little bit closer to it and figure out exactly what it is it's right here in the city british columbia this is the uh, legislative assembly building we just found out with the totem pole in front love it here is the empress which again the the buses for the cruise port i think dropped off right by here but we just walked it so we're uh we're just checking it out right here it looks super nice so further inside the empress here you can see some of the stores very very cool and we made it all the way to that canada sign where you can see it's lit up a little bit of a walk but you can make it all right we're gonna start heading back soon here in the uh, government uh, area at least that's my understanding of where we are we got this really nice fountain it's like a purple and pink and blue but we're here kind of walking around just enjoying not as uh, not as much going on in this street it's kind of a shortcut to get us back to the ship at least i believe it is in that direction but we'll take a few pictures first that's a cool building over there here uh further down in the city and we've made it to this area here. Nice red pickup right there. We can see the tops of one of the ships over there. And we're headed back right now. Beautiful city, beautiful night. Really cool exploring. And here we are back at the port now. You can see the three ships. I think that's the Norwegian Bliss. There's the Holland America Eurodam, which is our ship. And then that's the uh, Princess, uh, the Royal Princess, excuse me. Right, so here we are. Great to see them, great to be back. Let's head back on board and finish our night. 
Wow, what a great walk. For reference, we walked about two and a half miles. Great to see. Getting a closer look at the Norwegian Bliss here. Huge, absolutely monumentally large ship. Wow, maybe one day. And there it is, our home away from home. The Holland America Line Eurodam. It has been an amazing cruise and an incredible ship. Definitely would recommend it. My gosh, it was awesome. And that will do it for this cruise adventure. What an amazing time we had together. Love sharing it all with you. A huge thank you to all of our patrons for making it all possible. And thanks to you for being a part of it with me. Until next time, have a magical day, and I'll see you on board.